It's the stuff comic book adventures are made of. Scientists say they are a step closer to developing materials that could render people and objects invisible. So to make things invisible, such as we see in scientific movies, um, you need to bend light around the material. Okay? It's like a, a rock sitting in a stream. And the water bends around the rock and meets itself at the back. And so to do that with light, we need to be able to bend it in directions that it doesn't normally bend in normal media. This is, I would say, one step, one important step towards this invisibility cloak. Researchers have demonstrated for the first time they were able to cloak three-dimensional objects using artificially engineered materials that redirect light around the objects. Previously, they have been able to only cloak very thin two-dimensional objects. I, I don't expect to see uh, practical invisibility cloaks anytime soon, but, but this material, these two materials, for example, are uh, some pretty big steps towards uh, that ultimate realization. The new work moves scientists a step closer to hiding people and objects from visible light, which could have broad applications, including military ones. So the thing is, it's such a new field that it's hard to even imagine what, you could, what it could be used for. Obviously, there are some military applications, but I think that if we, once we think about it a little bit more and really look at the physics, I think we'll find a lot more applications for, for cloaking. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.